Hello and welcome to HKOTG TV. My name is Martin and this is a special episode. Angry Gun has invited us to their workshop here in Hong Kong to give us a little sneak peek of the shotgun. We know we love shotguns. Here's one right here and we're looking at the Marui gas stock. Everybody wants that. We know GMP has already brought one out but I believe this one is better. So everybody has seen this one online. It's the CNC version of it. Um, I'm guessing this is their prototype. and uh, But nobody's seen the black one yet. And I think that's what everybody has been waiting for. Here we go. Here is the black version. Uh, director of Angry, Angry Gun has actually told me that this black section here is not going to be the color. It's going to be more of this matte gun color. But... I guess it's still a work in progress and it is pretty awesome if you have a look at that. It is pretty insane. And uh, in this episode, we're going to do look, a few tests on it to see because nobody knows how big it is, how much stuff can go in it, what can fit on it. We don't know. So, uh, retail price. They've told me that the retail price is somewhere between 1 2 and 1 3 Hong Kong dollars. 1200 to 1300 Hong Kong dollars, which is cheaper than the GMP one. The GMP one we all know is an absolute ridiculous $1,600. And it comes with the stock and the grip that we just don't need. This one comes by itself. Nothing else. So it's keeping the price down real low, so I think that's better. Uh, one thing I did notice straight away on this is on the GMP, we all know the lip goes over the back of the gun like that. All right, and uh, it's sitting on the top. This is actually going to fit in to the gun real nice and flat. All right, so we all know a certain YouTuber said that GMP1 is nice and Grun is not so nice, but actually, come on, man, you got a thing like this and you're telling me it looks good? That little bump? That's not how it is. This is how it's supposed to be. Stay tuned, we're going to get some good stuff coming up. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to actually assemble this thing. Um, I personally don't know how to take it apart and they're going to show us exactly how to do it. They say it's pretty easy, so we're going to show you in real time how quick it is it's going to take to change this thing. And I suppose this could be just a real traditional actually how to fit this product yourself. So when you get it, it's fitted already. And Tim, don't, don't tell me with this thing bro, we're getting some face time, okay? We like. Alright, so let's go. This is how to undo this thing and put it on. Here we go. First up, you put a long, what is that, a hex key? Hex key down into the stock, right to the back. One screw. Look at that, one screw and it's off. There's your screw, just one screw. That's so simple. Alright, so now we have the angry gun part. Just unscrew these, pull that off. That's it one screw look at that one screw is all it took to put it on get yourself a custom grip so easy to put that together, it's absolutely ridiculous. Right, so now you got your stock tube, that's where the gas goes in. What you do is you just screw it in until the o-ring, there's a little o-ring on the side of it. O-ring sits about here, you just screw it in until the o-ring gets inside, then you just line up the washer 
when it's ready. Line up the washer, and then you just screw in that last boat, and she's golden. Look at that. Four year old, you are riding an 870 Marui with the grip stock. Done. Isn't that a Right, I'm back. I got my safety glasses on because the gun is complete and it's put together. I'll show you what it looks at. Look at that. Now this is actually uh, my Maruvi shotgun with the stock on. I had to see it with the Magpul and it's just absolutely beautiful. And you can have a look there. It is actually flush. Right? So I don't care what anybody says about GMP. This is what it should look like. It is flush. That's what a real gun looks like. Uh, the stock tube, the tube is mil spec so it fits your CTRs and every, all the other little stocks that you want. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Look at that. Just making sure you get a good view of it. Look at that. It is absolutely flush right here. Like a baby's bone. Suck in that. Look at that. It's beautiful. Love it. Right. Okay, so that was uh, that was my version. The Marui with the Magpul stuff on it. We got another another version here. Check this out. It's pretty cool. This is actually the Angry Gun Boys little toy that they play with at work. Looks pretty good. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to fold this thing. Um, so what you do is you pull this section back. Um, again, the GMP version. Right, GMP version. You need to fill it over here, and then you need to take the CTR stock off, which would be kind of complicated because you you know how hard it's difficult to take these things off. So you got to fill it here on the GMP, and you got to fill it here as well, which is kind of odd. Uh, this one only has one filling port. It's located right here, right there. Easy access. Just pull your stock back. There it is. Easy. So. I'll show you how to pull this. Check it out. Just fill it up like that. You can hear it filling. It's the size of the tank is much bigger than the standard Maru version. All right. And that's it. So easy. Not complicated at all. So I think the Angry Gun version is like the least complicated version of the two. Much better. I'm just gonna quickly dry fire this so. Uh, we can see how it is. I'm feeling like it's got a bit more of a kick than the original. I'm thinking maybe the gas tank is more full, but it's really good. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a FPS test in a second, but check that out. That's pretty cool. Let's see it like real close up. Nice and flush. Beautiful. Love that. Right, let's do a little test on it. Right. So we're going to test this with uh, 0 0.2 BBs and we're going to use the airsoft surgeon gas. Uh, here's our chrono. Cortec chrono. And uh, let's put some rounds through here. Here we go. So I got 1.2, then I got 1.4, I got 1.4. So we're shooting now at an average of um, 1.4 joules, that's uh, 390 FPS, which is pretty insane actually. Kind of like that. There we go. Okay, so that was the, the test, uh, 1.4 with 0 0.2 BBs and the SF surgeon gas. Uh, 1.4 is pretty good, I mean, it's, standard one is 1.3, standard Marui, 
And uh, I really want to take mine outdoors, and ours, outdoors is maximum 1.5, so 1.4 is perfect. Probably going to get some seriously good range, um, which is great. Angry Grin stock is awesome. I don't care what anybody else says. From what I've, what I've seen today, way better than the GMP. Easier to install, easier to refill, nice color, sits flush. I keep repeating that because the GMP one is disgusting. This piece over here, I don't know what they were thinking, but anyway, I don't want to hurt GMP's feelings, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, <laughs> Angry gun guys are laughing at that, but anyway. Uh, that's a wrap for that. Uh, if, if you want to, uh, if you want to pre-order this Angry Gun stock, uh, get a hold of our friend Edwin at CRW. Uh, send him a private message, and he'll send you some details on when the pre-order will start and how much it's going to cost you. Um, great gun! I just want to say a big thanks to Angry Gun for inviting us to their workshop. It's a real honor to actually be here, and thanks to them. Unfortunately, they don't want to be on camera, but that's just how it is. There it is. Angry gun stuck in your face. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our progress. And remember, play safe. Play safe, really. Play safe. Up and coming for Angry Gun. They don't want to talk to us on camera, but they told me anyway. So, up and coming, they got a WE and a KWA steel forward assist, and uh, the WE or KWA um, ambi selector, ambidextrous selector. All right, and they also got a steel bolt carrier coming for the KWA, and sort of hinting on the gold one as well. So, looking forward to that. I personally want a nice Satan Arms steel bow carrier for my uh, Mega Arms PTS, which would be really cool. Let's look forward to that. See you guys later.